people move out. You don't know about that because they didn't put it on the news. But I know people in Detroit, and they told me, you can't even go in the store and get food. I'm moving the fuck out of this city. What do you mean you can't go in the store and get food? They're not putting food in the stores, is what they said. We got to go to other cities to buy food. So they deliberately created circumstances where the black people had to move out of the city, and the ones who didn't move fast enough were coerced into moving through violence and through just watching everything decay. You tatter your daughter coming home, you know, people... It's just ridiculous, you know, just ridiculous. Just so white. White is decadence and decay. All right, that's all it is. And that's the reason why you see everything dying, because these white people never should have been on earth. And ever since they've been here on earth, they have not done anything but secure a big arena of nothing but fucking decadence. They kill all the ducks, all the fish, just go hunting, just because they want to kill something, okay? And we had all these beautiful homes living it real good. They couldn't stand that. Black people were smart enough to have reliance on each other and they build our communities in Detroit. We built those communities. They did not build them. They cannot take credit for that. They, they supplied us with the jobs and the plants, but once they gave us those jobs and the plants, they were shocked at how well we could manage our money and how we were all able to build these brick homes and everything for ourselves. So they got jealous and they came in and ruined the shit just like they did in the movie Rosewood. They were so mad that those black people were living so good and they were so wise and they all fiend and worked together with each other and they had that community. It was clean and they were all eating and they were doing well. Well the other white communities that lived around Rosewood was upset that Rosewood was growing and wealth faster than them. So they had that bullshit story said about some white woman lied and said some black man raped her and then all the white people from all those other surrounding neighborhoods all went into Rosewood and murdered all those black people and stole their wealth burned up their houses raped those women murdered the men because of their jealousy at their economic boom because they were smart they all put their money together and opened up a lumber mill in their neighborhood and then they started shipping the lumber out to other places so they had a revenue for themselves because they made their prices economical and compatible with the finances of the people who needed the wood so they ended up taking mad 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 business away from the other mills that was in the other neighborhoods that was just greedy as hell and would not try to be compatible with what was available see you should not be able to mine the earth and then force people into going in debt because you make the price of everything so unbearable where the only way people can afford to build their homes is that they got to go in debt and take 20 years to pay your ass back. This is the white man's tactics, okay? This is the stuff that he does. He takes all the commodities on earth and hoard them for himself and then shut everything down where this is what happens to Detroit, okay? This is a whole city that was deliberately destroyed by the political bullshit of these white men who think that they should be privileged to have the decision-making power to create circumstances of decay and death for everything on the earth. That's what happened to Egypt. As soon as they went into Egypt, the minute they got set up in there, Egypt turned into a damn desert. As you can see, what happened to Detroit. So, you know, I don't really have love for anybody that's going to sit around and try to act like it's a problem with me for trying to educate the world and show us how we can change things around and get on our feet and, 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 and just really become responsible for self, you know. But no, instead of me getting people to help me, I get people to want to be in opposition with me and want to try to do everything that they can to make themselves look big while they try to make me look small. And that's going to cost you because I'm not the one to fuck with and I told you that. Okay, so... I'm just letting you guys know I, I'm going to deal with this circumstance 100%. I want everybody that if you fuck with me, your ass going to have a, some serious dealing to deal with when you have to deal with that green light. So I want you all to watch what happened to these two stupid motherfuckers. So when you think you're going to stand in line next to try to bring some opposition to me, you're not. You watch what I tell you because you're going to think about what happened to them dumb motherfuckers. And you ain't going to want to have nothing to do with no type of activity like that with me. And I can say that because I know how my sister get down. 
And she told me, she said, you tell those motherfuckers that I'm going to burn up a 26,000 foot warehouse and a 2600 foot warehouse. And she did it the same damn day. She ain't no joke. She is not no joke. Those propane tanks blowing up, where was it, Florida or somewhere? I don't know where it was at, but um, it happened, you know? And there's going to be a lot more of that shit happening, too. You might as well get ready for it because it's going down. But these is the houses that we had in Detroit that's all destroyed. Shut all these businesses down, okay? White men did this. They deliberately pulled all these businesses out of Detroit and created poverty, okay? That's what they did. Okay, let's look at this. I want you to see my green light that I tell you guys is my sister right here. I'm going to have her burn up a bunch of shit. I'm gonna t a lot of you niggas getting burnt up by this green light. I've been telling y'all asses. You see it? Go ahead, blink for the ass so they can know what time it is, all right? Now, I done told you niggas I was sent here to fix this earth. This is my power that I'm working with. This is my weapon, okay? Now, I want you guys to know something. I'm already going to kill two motherfuckers for starting that bullshit with me, all right? That's all to it. All you other people out there, you might want to act like you got some goddamn sense because your arms is too short to box with God. And I'm trying to let you all know that. All you hateful ass niggas out there that's subjugating and think you're going to sit up and try to stifle all the black people so you could get some recognition from the white people, okay? With your dumb sellout nigga ass. I'm sending this fire to get you bitches. That's what you need to know. I'm not going to be out here trying to combat your ignorance and your stupidity. My sister is here to do that. And I'm going to tell you something. She's real good and she doesn't mind doing it either. Here's another picture of it. This thing happened exactly one day after I made my video saying to you guys that some 26,000 square foot warehouses were going to be blowing up. And see, like essential oils know, they say these niggas are going to keep watching these fires and eventually they're going to need these oils. I'm sorry, I want you to know I'm here. When you want to buy your shit, see, you can buy it for a dollar and ten cents an ounce for me, and you can sell it to everybody else, okay, for whatever. Because they're going to be willing to pay when these fires start getting in their ass even more and more and more that I'm sure going to be the case because uh, it's easy for me to see that your green lights are everywhere. I mean, even Stevie Wonder can see that shit, okay. Look at that. Now you trying to tell me that's not a part of the same electromagnetism that you've been seeing, as you can see right there, and right there, as well as right there. See, you should be able to see that there's something controlling the lights that's coming from the fire and the mechanical synthetic lights. So now if you see this in the volcano, and you see it in the sun, and then you see it in the fire, and then you see it in the water too, okay? And you still want to be a dumbass, that's on you. I don't care. I want you to see the green light right here. Do you see it? Look, right here. See that? That's the green light I'm sending to get you sorry motherfuckers, okay? Know that. We'll be coming to get your bitch ass. And I don't mind calling you a bitch because you know you a bitch yourself. I'm so sick of you sell out ass niggas. I swear to God, I'm not going to lie to you. Can't stand you motherfuckers. I really can't. You niggas are the reason we all became slaves. And I'm going to enjoy getting you motherfuckers first. I probably never make it to the white people because I'm going to be so busy getting at you niggas. And I'm going to do that shit with more diligence than ever been demonstrated before. I done already told my sister, get those motherfuckers at all costs. I hate you niggas more than I hate these goddamn commercials that I'm always forced to watch. And I'm not buying none of that shit. I get so sick of seeing them force shit on you like that. And here's the green light that is going to be tearing y'all asses up, burning up your school buses, burning up your schools, burning up your churches. Okay, you can see the shit everywhere you look. Everywhere, look at it, burning up all these freaking trailers, destroying materialism, and these things are loaded with propane tanks, and they all exploding, shooting 40 and 30 feet into the sky by the green light. 
You niggas could think you're going to overlook this green light if you want to. You can overlook it, but when it be burning your ass up, you're not going to be able to turn your head and overlook that then. So you better see things for what they're worth and keep your motherfucking mouth shut and don't be giving me no bad stares because I'm telling you, my paw is getting more and more stronger and that's the reason I'm staying to myself more and more because I'm starting to hate people. I really am because of the ignorance. And I see people changing. I got to tell you something. The overall people in this city has changed. And I love y'all. I ain't going to lie to you. I do. But you other motherfuckers, when I say I hate people, I'm talking about your selfish ass that sit up and you can't stand my energy, can't stand my life because of how filthy you are. And then you know for a fact, when you see this cleanness inside of me, it just points out to you. You're looking in the mirror and seeing what you should be trying to become. Instead of you doing that, what you want to do, you want to be like everybody else on the planet, like Opie, Goma Powell, bitch ass. He went around there and tried to get everybody in the damn community to side up with him and say that I was a thief. I done stole a lot of shit in my life, but I done grown out of that and grew up. So you're not going to hold me responsible for what I did in the past when I know for a fact that the universe has already made me pay for that and probably still going to make me pay for some shit again. As of right now, he's giving me this fucking job that I got to do that is this payment for every bad crime I done did have to deal with you dumbass people. When you can see the damn green light, you can see it. And then this idiot tell me, I'm not afraid of your green light. I looked at him and said, because you're too goddamn stupid to be. Okay, and that's the reason why you're going to be killed. Because I was sent here to kill ignorance. I keep telling you that. And so now here's the green light making it bigger than shit to everybody. Yes, Asari is my son. And I sent him here because he's me. And so you're an idiot for trying to fight him because he can kick your ass if he want to. But the thing about it is, his case won't look really good in court with you sitting up in there all fucked up and everything. So it is what it is. And that's why your bitch ass got a break. But you're going to prison, which means you didn't get a break. Because, see this all-knowing green light? I have already instructed her either that he goes to prison or that motherfucker gets some third-degree burns over 25% of his body. And she cares. So she's just going to let you go to prison. Which, I would like the latter, to tell you the truth. But I can't be cold-hearted like that, so you get an ultimatum. You either get your booty and your dick burned off or your ass go to jail for five years. You decide. It's going to be in your brain. You'll figure out what you want. Because it's going to disturb the shit out of you just thinking about this green light burning your ass up or your bitch ass being in jail for five years. Either way, don't matter to me. But it has to be done because of your ignorance. This green light is going to serve your ass. Know that. I've been warning you guys. That's why I don't care about letting you know what's going down is going down. It's all to it. So this is probably the 26,000 square foot fire that the universe was showing me was going to happen. I mean, it happened fast too. It happened, it like, seemed like the same damn day that I put it up on YouTube. That's amazing. It's really amazing. But that's how my sister gets down. So I'm sure somebody's feet is burning like hell. I know they should be burning. Your knees is going to be crackling and not supporting your body weight anymore. You're not going to be able to hold your body fluids in, nose gonna drain all the time, eyes gonna drain all the time, fluids running all out of your ass all the damn time, bad stomach pains all the time, ain't gonna be able to have no air, and all that because you attacked an innocent person that didn't have any ounce of hate in their heart for you, or didn't want to see anything bad happen to you, but because you are a fucked up, self-negating, hateful ass person, and you've proven that to me in the little time I've known you, beyond. And just so you can know, if it wasn't for me meeting you the way that I did, I never would have had no type of ideology in my mind to ever say one thing to your sorry ass. But since I did end up becoming acquainted with you and saw that you was in a position where you could help me, and I asked you for that, and then your resentment 